Alright, hey everyone, Christian here from CK Wraps. So today, I'm going to show you how when we lay out a large section of a car, as far as the film goes, how we cut out those panels, or and how you would cut them to size for the most part. Uh, I've already pre-cut them, so we can kind of just get an idea quickly. This is going to be a half hour video. Uh, if you want to see more videos, I'm going to keep trying to do some little tips and techniques like this. Uh, to make the install a lot easier. So, what you're going to use to do this is uh, something that's not going to cut into the paint behind here. So, the snitty or a little a little cutter, a plastic cutter is a lot a lot better. Uh, it actually it houses the blade so that you don't cut into the paint in a plastic housing. Uh, it can leave a scuff mark on the paint, so you do still have to be careful with it. You can't scratch the paint with plastic; it's not impossible. Um, so we've already cut it out. What I want to do is show you how I go about cutting this out. So what I've done here is I've overlapped the door edge right here. I've got a lot of extra excess film. And what I want to do is make sure that I have enough to cover the pillar up top here. So make sure, making sure that we have enough, enough lengthwise. Now the pillar does come past the door slightly, so we had to go a little bit longer. But I like to go a little bit longer than that even, so that we can reposition this door panel backwards and forwards. Because as you can see here, I actually have the rear quarter panel overlapping the door. So, I don't know if you can actually see that, but there you go. So the rear quarter panel is overlapping the door. And that's so that we have excess film to tuck in when we open the door. So we're going to open the door where we install the rear quarter panel. We're going to have excess film to push in there and work in there. That way we have full coverage from the exterior because if you look through the crack here of the door and the car's red and we're wrapping in black and you don't go far enough in, you're going to see red. For the side skirt, or the lower side skirt, now this can vary a lot on some vehicles. Sometimes the lower part here is all connected to this piece. Some, a lot of newer cars, it's actually separate. So it's a separate piece on the bottom here. Now, this piece, actually comes past where I've cut the entire sheet of film. But I'm not worried about that. And I'm not worried about that because what I can do here is since, since the rear quarter panel only goes down to here and here, I can take this film and push it forward now. So I obviously have a bigger piece over here because, and this piece is a little bit wider here than it is on the bottom here, which is only about an inch on the bottom here, it's not very much. So I have, I have more than enough film. A, a piece this size should be, should be enough to cover most side skirts. You're gonna have to be very precise when you're cutting though. So what I've done, what I do before I cut is figure out where the bottom of the door is. So the bottom of the door is actually right there. So I'm gonna figure out where the bottom of the door is and I'm going to pretty much cut, and what you can do is you can take a crayon again and mark that line before you cut, and then that way you can see it, but if you push down hard enough to increase the film like that, I can actually see this line from this angle. So I can actually take the snitty and cut the side skirt off. I left excess on the door, uh, also I can move the door up and down. So I can move this panel, when I move this panel back it's going to cover the door, because I have excess film over here. So that will completely cover the door. There's the edge of the door, right here, and it will completely cover the door. Let's move it back. And I can come down or up with it. I have plenty of film left on all edges. So, I might get some flack for this, I have no idea, this is just how I do it. But, as you can see here, I've actually cut too high on, the, on the, the pillar here, meaning that this film doesn't just go down in its place and sit there relax on this. What I like to do is actually, I, I start contouring the film down this way once I get to about this point, and I start to contour the film down. Yes, it adds a little tension. I don't see anything wrong with it. I've never had anything fail because of it, because literally we're, we're talking a few percentage worth of tension. So we're not talking about very much tension at all. Um, we have plenty up top to wrap this entire pillar since the pillar line is right there. So I've left obviously excess all the way around. And then when I come down and I, and I start finishing this off, I'm going to stretch it 
a little bit, just a little bit, and contour it around this way. So what will actually happen in that case is that these edges here and here are going to start to hug. As soon as I start adding a bit of tension this way, they're going to start to hug inward. So if you do happen to get wrinkles, all you have to do is spread them out, and then it will just want to curl around that pillar. That's, that's a natural tension. As long as when we get down here to this point, we're not, we don't have tension here before we cut, this will never pull back ever. I 100% I guarantee it. So, like I said, I might get some flack because I did it like that. Uh, it's one thing I got used to doing when I started doing a lot of chrome wraps is that I started to cut it off here so that I, would make, I made sure that I had enough for the door because chrome is expensive and we're trying to minimize, obviously, you know, there's always damages that happen to the film when you're installing it sometimes, not always, but sometimes it's a much higher risk film when installing it. So what I wanted to do, my main goal was to use less film just in case I damaged film along the way. So this is a great way to do that and leaves me enough for the door to, to wrap that, the side skirt, just in case the side skirt does happen to be wider, I'll, I'll have plenty. I could have trimmed off a ton more here. I could have trimmed off another six inches, seven inches, and I still have like five inches up top to reposition downward if, in case the door didn't fit properly. Side skirts cut all the way back here. I just tacked it onto the rear bumper. So a good way to do that is you take your snitty and you start cutting it, and then I peel, I peel some of the back of the back, and I just stick it to the bumper. Since magnets won't hold it, we need something to hold it, so that, that holds it right there. Um, as far as the rear quarter panel goes, it's, we're all cut out. So we have full coverage right now, guys. We have everything that we need, and what I'm going to do is just take these and roll them up. And once I'm done rolling them up, I always do the rear quarter panel first before I do the door and the side skirt. I don't know why, it's just habit. It's just easier to roll these pieces up first since they're smaller. And I'll label them. I don't really label them, but you can label them on the, uh, on the masking tape. So you know what panel is for where. I mean, it's pretty obvious that you're doing one side at a time that this large piece that's like three feet is going to be the door. And it's pretty obvious the bottom piece is going to be the side skirt. So I'm actually going to take it and roll it from this end. So again, we can keep it all off the ground. And that's what you want to do. We don't want to start picking up debris from the ground. Get this rolled up. Alright. So pretty obvious that this is the side skirt now, and that is the rear quarter panel, which is going to stay there. If I need to reposition this quarter panel, I come far enough around this side where I have, still have an extra four inches or so if I needed to push it forward. I don't because I have plenty that's going to be going into the door jam, covering inside the door jam slightly so that we don't have any visible gloss black showing from the exterior. Alright, we'll take that throw it in the car as well. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you a rundown on how to cut out panels like this. And that way you're prepared, that way you have enough film all over to get your hands on the exterior of it. And, uh, and so you have, make sure you have full coverage. And that's it guys. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. There's always more coming along. I'll try to work on little things like this. I know I've been requested a few times to do this. I've done it once, but didn't really give you a good idea like this. Uh, so I'll do more. Just shoot me some suggestions if, you, if there's other videos you want to see. I do have some in mind still, like motorcycles. I know there's no motor motorcycles coming in here. Um, so, but when I do, I promise I will do videos on that. All right, guys, thanks.